All gases behave quite simply. This allows relationships to be determined by holding any two physical properties constant, pressure, volume, temperature, or number of moles, which leads us to the empirical gas laws. The gas property of compressibility led to the discovery of Bohl's law. The volume of a sample of gas at a given temperature varies inversely with the applied pressure. This means that volume is proportional to 1 over pressure at constant number of moles and temperature. Meaning then that pressure times volume is equal to some constant. So therefore, getting to the more formal Bohl's law, we say that P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2. We must realize this is at constant temperature and number of moles of gas. A sample of chlorine gas has a volume of 1.8 liters at one atmosphere. If the pressure increases to 4.0 atmospheres at constant temperature, what would be the new volume? We assume constant number of moles of gas since this, there is no evidence of gas escaping. Since we're at constant temperature, it allows us to use Ball's law. We know that the pressure and volume at a given temperature and a new pressure later, later on, so we can easily solve for the new volume. Let's call 1.8 liters volume 1. We will call 1.0 atmospheres pressure 1. So this is our initial conditions. Then later on, we measure that the pressure 2 is 4.0 atmospheres, so the pressure has changed. What we're trying to find now is the new volume, volume 2. So PV equal to PV, rearranged in the solve for the new volume, V2, we obtain V2 is equal to P1 times V1 divided by P2. So we plug in our uh, atmospheres for our pr first pressure, which is one atmosphere, our volume for our first volume, which is 1.8 liters, and our pressure for our second pressure, which is 4.0 atmospheres. As long as you put in the same units, they were cancels, so atmosphere cancels, cancels, which leaves us with 0.45 liters as volume 2. No, as long as the pressures or volumes are the same unit, they will cancel out. Since the pressures increase, and we know the volume will have to have the inverse effect, we anticipate the volume to decrease, which it does. It goes from 1.8 liters to 0.45 liters. Since the pressure increased, the volume must decrease. Homework 38. 